Dr. Craig Manning here with the Fearless Mind. Today I want to talk about key performance indicators. Key performance indicators are critical in the tactical execution of everyday business. To me, this is where the magic happens. The strategic, knowing where you're going, is valuable. We need to know where we're going. It gives us that almost that lighthouse, that beacon so we head in the right direction. And so often with my clients in the business world, they get a little tied up here with the, the strategic plan. It is important to know where you're going, but it's not the end of the world. As I'm finding with a lot of my clients, we just need a goal a month out. We don't even need more than that. The most important part is the tactical, is what are you doing to get there? The reason this is so important is this is what motivates people into action. So the more exact we can get the tactical plan, the, more, the, the smaller the gaps, the more people take action. The bigger these gaps are, the more people it allows anxiety and fear to get in and the less activity, ultimately a drop off in productivity. That's why these key performance indicators are key. As we do our research and establish these in our specific area of business, and the more we master our trench, the more we can close these gaps and the more it motivates this Y generation to action, to productivity. Now here's the best part. These key performance indicators are built into your journal. If you don't know what I'm talking about with your journal, part of the journal is steps three and four is where you're doing your evaluation at the end of each day of first what's doing going well and one thing you can do better. The three to one is such a powerful tool because it's where you learn to think, well not learn to think, it's where it motivates you to think and to constantly do your research and establish those key performance indicators. As you understand what work, what's working best for you and what's one thing you can do better, that's the tactical. Those become the tactical plan of action in step two in your journal the following day. So you know exactly what to do. And that's what knowledge is. Knowledge is knowing exactly what you need to do and that's why there's so much power in knowledge. Establishing those key performance indicators so that you're constantly growing and heading in the direction you want. Here's an example, a guy I was working with in a company, he was just doing sales over the phone, not just, it's a very important part of, of business, but he was doing sales over the phone, he had his little book there and he'd do the three to one after every single phone call. This is how disciplined this young man was. After each call he would stop and think what was the best thing I did on the call. Look what he established. He found if he could get his client to say yes seven times. Then he would ask for the business. He had done all his research and he would tracked it to where if he could get people to say yes, now understanding the science of the law of occupied space, you get seven yeses, what's occupying the mind of your prospective buyer? They're ready to buy. He found if he could count seven yeses and ask for their business, he was closing 92% of the calls if he could get seven yeses. He found with six, he was in the 60% and so on like that. The other thing he found as a key performance indicator was he was in a business where there was different um, products he was selling. If he would mention cr a cross sell, which is selling not just one but s several items, if he mentioned it three times, one at the beginning of the call, one in the middle and one at the end, what he found was he would actually not just close a deal but close a deal for multiple items at the same time. Now the skill here, the thing that was interesting to me is he found when he mentioned it four times, the percentage dropped off dramatically. It was as if we're annoying people if we mention it too much. Mention something once, most people don't even notice it. It's not going to occupy the conscious mind. Mention it twice, people kind of react with, hmm, I've heard that before, now you're starting to get my attention. Mention it three times, it's front and center on people's conscious mind. They're very aware of it. You've now done a great job to get them to be thinking the way you want them to think or get them to be aware of what you want them to be aware of. So he found three times, greatly increased his cross sales. This young man did, just did a great job doing his research, constantly establishing these key performance indicators, and it was worth an awful lot of money to him the more scientific he was about what he did with his, in his workplace just to establish these key performance indicators. Have a great day.